you know that feeling when you finally find a striker that you feel like you can rely on to get goals game in, game out? I feel like we have found that already in the form of Kayan Edwards. If we look at our schedule and our recent performances in this Oxford United save on Football Manager 2023, you can see he scored four goals in the previous match, which single-handedly gave us the victory over Cambridge United. He also scored two here, one here, one here, one here. He's been a really fantastic addition, and we've finally recovered from our dreadful form that we saw in January. To be unbeaten so far in February ahead of the Papa John's Trophy semi-final against Derby County. One thing that I actually got asked to do, which I completely forgot to do beforehand, was take a look at the World Cup results in Qatar. You can see England are the holders. Unfortunately, I can't go back and look at all of the results, but I do know that Bukayo Saka was the player of the tournament, um, and he single-handedly carried England to this World Cup result, it seems. Argentina got the third place playoffs. Um, Harry Kane and John Stone scoring in the semi final. Saka, Arnold, uh, Trent, and Kane scoring in the quarters. Saka, Kane again. It's just these two names keep popping up everywhere on England's results to England's route to the final. Marcus Rashford actually getting a double. That's something you didn't expect to see, isn't it? In terms of our performances in the league, it's crazy close. You can see one point separates the top four sides, Peter Brachal and Plymouth and ourselves. Ipswich are just, they're still not out of it in terms of the title. They're just two wins behind the league leaders, Peterborough, and then Wickham and Derby and Barnsley and even Lincoln are pretty close as well. It's crazy how good this title fight has been. But in terms of today's episode, we are starting off with the semi-final in a Papa John's Trophy up against Derby County. I'm going to make some changes to the lineup and I'll be back once I've done that. Here we go then. I've tried to not make too, too many changes. I'm not sure why it says Edwards is a three and a half star player, but then over here is abilities only two and a half stars. Someone let me know why. And yeah, I don't know if that's just a visual glitch that's happening right now. But yeah, in terms of the team, we've got Eastwood in goal because I've got a promise to him. Bringing in long at right back because the first team right back and right centre back are a bit knackered right now. Brown and Finley in defence with Bowler at left back. Smith at CDM with Bate and Brannigan finishing at the midfield. Marcus Brown comes in at the left wing position with Edwards and Anderson making up the other two in our front three. And let's get into the game. Let's hope we can get through to the final because that would be really good to have a final in our first season. Oh, it's Oxford United that get the first highlight here. Marcus Brown out wide plays it back to Long, the right back. He's tackled by McFadson but fortunately manages to keep the ball. Anderson's another one that's been in some really, really good form. He's keep on going with his fantastic run of assists. I think he's on about 20 plus assists now for us in the league. Uh, Marcus Brown puts that chance just wide, unfortunately, for us there. Second highlight. Here we are, long, out wide. Takes his time, cuts inside. Let's see if he can find a pass before he gets dispossessed. He manages to find Brown, and that's two chances now for Marcus Brown in the first 10 minutes, and he hasn't managed to put either one past the goalkeeper. Brannigan, though, with the corner kick straight away, cleared by Cashin. I think that might be the end of the highlight. We've run it back. Brown finds Lewis Bate. It's a bit out wide there for Anderson. He wasn't quite able to keep the... Oh my god, we were able to keep the attack alive long with a really nice ball across to Marcus Brown. It's third, third time lucky for the winger that we brought in to replace Josh Murphy. Anderson keeps in over here. Finds long and it's a really nice touch just to sort of get himself into that space. Nice ball and Brown out jumps Knight and it's poor goalkeeping from Wildsmith there. That puts us 1-0 up inside 15 minutes. It's Derby County's first highlight now. McFadson finds Knight and he's got a free header at the back post there and somehow he's missed the target. I thought that was for sure back to 1-1. We can't be letting them have chances like that because they're going to score if they get anything like that yet again. Edwards hits the crossbar this time with a Marcus Brown free kick. 7.9 match rating so far for Marcus Brown in the first half. That was definitely a good decision to bring him on. I'm pretty sure he has um, the plays well in big matches trait, which is why I brought him onto the pitch to start instead of Josh Murphy. I'm kind of tempted to take off Finley because of his yellow card, but I think I should probably keep him on. Um, I think we'll leave things as they are, to be honest. We've been the dominant side so far in the first half. And if we keep it up like this, I don't see why we won't be able to go on to win this. Derby County keeper's got the ball here. He goes for a long ball and Dobbins just found himself in behind there. Fortunately, Eastwood manages to make the save. It was a pretty poor shot there from Dobbin. You'd expect him to be doing better with the one-on-one -on -one chance, but it was straight at the goalkeeper. Is this Robert's guy here? Is this um, the guy that used to play for Birmingham City? No, it's not. Free kick for Brown. It's this man every single highlight. I swear to God, he's been fantastic for us as he hits the outside of the post this time. I don't think that went out there. I'm pretty sure that did not go out of the pitch. Finley here. 
finds Lewis Bay. I'm just hoping we don't get dispossessed here. Brannigan, oh my. He stuck it around the goalkeeper and hit the defender. If he would have took just a little bit more time there, maybe took it back onto his stronger right foot and went for the finish. I'm sure he would have got gold there, but unfortunately he rushed his chance and wasn't able to get it past the last man. It's time to make some substitutions though. We will take off Brannigan after that little mistake. I do want to take off Finley, but he's playing so well. I think we can't even take off Sam Long. We'll bring off Javon Anderson for James Henry and I'll leave on Marcus Brown because he's been fantastic. Kyan Edwards can come off for Josh Murphy and we'll make one more substitution. No, actually no, we've made three. We'll leave it like that and we'll see if we need to make any later on. 93rd minute, this is right at the death now and it looks like Derby are going to get a last last gasp highlight. But fortunately we've won it back with, I think it was Rodriguez Golin. Brown has got another one. That was a dreadful finish that time round. By far the man of the match performance here from Marcus Brown. He's been absolutely unplayable today. He's been involved in every single highlight we've had. This time round, it's Henry that plays the ball into him. It's a poor finish, and Will Smith once again gets a hand on it, but can't stop it going in the net. 3.28 XG so far for us, as we beat Derby County to progress to the final of the Papa John's Trophy. We'll be able to see the other semi-final in the Papa John's Trophy now, and it's Exeter that we're going to be playing. I'm not sure what our results have been against Exeter. Is there a way I can check? I think I have to go over to the schedule to find out. Here we go, schedule, then we'll go past meetings. We've won both matches. Hopefully that gives us a little bit of an idea of what we can expect and hopefully we can go on and get another win in the final of the Papa John's Trophy. Next up it is Bristol Rovers. These guys are a bit lower than us on the table. I'm pretty sure they're bottom half. Where are they? Bristol Rovers. 18th place, yeah, only nine wins. We are up here. Nobody else has played. Um, Lincoln are the highest team who've played an extra game and I think they must have lost it. Oh no, they won. They must have just been a bit further down than I remember. In terms of the squad, it looks like everyone's fully rested, so I'm just going to play exactly the same team and bring Marcus Brown on for Josh Murphy because of how good he was in that previous match. He single-handedly won us that game. As we move into the first highlight of the match, you can see we're playing some very patient football here, and Edwards with a fantastic run. That combination has summed up our second half of the season. Anderson to Edwards has been so vital for us in the way that we play. Brannigan as well uh, with the corner here. Ball's headed straight back out to him and he gets dispossessed here. Let's try to stop this count. Unfortunately, the highlight ends. McGuane going for the long ball through to Edwards. This time round, he takes it round the goalkeeper, but he's offside. He's offside and that's not going to be a goal for us, unfortunately. We do have a highlight straight off the bat though. Bola whips it into Anderson. I think he might have been offside as well there. The ball with the Bristol Rovers goalkeeper here. We managed to win the header and also the second ball with McGuane playing through. Bran again sticks it wide. How many chances are we going to have here without scoring? I'm going to go into attacking because it doesn't feel like Bristol Rovers have too much threat and I just want to get some goals early on now before our fitness starts to drop. Johnson with the ball on our right hand side. Man, you just find Anderson into Edwards. Literally, as I was talking about this combination, it's happened and we are 1-0 up in the 36th minute to Bristol Rovers. Moore finds Johnson into Anderson and it's a really nice ball for Kayon Edwards who's making the run from the middle of the pitch in between the two centre-backs. Puts it over the keeper into the middle of the net. Brown with a really nice run in behind here. Can he find a man in the middle? No, he can't. Instead, it's deflected into the goalkeeper's hands who clears it and hopefully we win this header. We do. I'm still so nervous when we see a long ball go over the top because you see so many of our goals are scored in that situation. And it feels like any moment a defender could have a little stinker in. We concede from nothing. There's a bit of ping pong going on here before we manage to win the ball with McGuane. Let's see what we can do. See if we can build up another attack. Really nice from McGuane there to get out of a sticky situation. And Edwards is through yet again. He puts it in to make it 2-0. That was really nice play from McGuane there in that little sticky situation between two or three players. Manages to find Brannigan and then it's simple for Edwards from there. He scores those every day of the week. Round the keeper and tucks it in. Moving into the second half now, and it is Bristol Rovers who kick things off with a highlight, but he's dis dispossessed sorry, by Marcus McGuane, and Brown once again in that position that he likes so much, ready for the cutback. This time he hits the post, unable to score like he did last time out, and it looks like some of the teams around us are dropping points here as we move ahead of Charlton and Plymouth, predicted anyway, providing we don't go and draw from this position. Bristol Rovers do have a highlight here. It's a long ball through to Coburn finds Evans and it's 2-1. It hasn't been as successful today for uh, Marcus Brown, so we're bringing him off for Josh Murphy. 
Also bringing on Kieran Brown, Charlie McCann and James Henry. Brown with the throw in on the left hand side finds Finley. I thought we were getting dispossessed then for a second. It's poor defending and an error allows Josh Murphy in for just his fifth goal of the season. That's quite surprising. I feel like he should be scoring more than that. I think Brown's on about 10 goals and he tends to play from a similar position. I'm not sure if he's got loads of assists to make up for it, but I'd will need to have a look at Josh Murphy if he's not scoring as frequently as he as we'd expect and maybe replace him because he's someone that's not going to be improving or getting any better. He's getting to what, like 27, 28, maybe even 30 years old now. Free kick for Bristol Rovers. They played it short after just over the bar. But yeah, let's take a look. Josh Murphy, 28 years old. So yeah, he might be someone that we might need to look at replace. Obviously, I will have a look at the end of the season at players who are underperforming or who I think might we might be more we might benefit more from upgrading. Anyway, that's a very positive result for us. You can see a bunch of other teams drop points around us and that moves us up to second place. Let's see if we can see the results actually. Charlton drew to Sheffield Wednesday and Plymouth were the other one. They lost to Peterborough. I get this article after almost every game now that our fans want us to get a permanent deal for Kyan Edwards. I would love to make it a thing. Um and sign him on a full deal, but I'm not sure how much Arsenal are going to want and if I'm going to be able to afford him. If not, I'll try getting back on loan next season for sure, because he's definitely our first choice striker now. Even if Matty Taylor gets back from his broken ankle, he'll still be starting for us. 21 goals in 22 games is a fantastic return for someone so young and with so much to grow. In terms of the schedule and next episode, I think Cheltenham and Exeter would be a good place to start. I think these two matches is what we're going to do. Play these four. Oh, Peterborough is here. Oh, no. Yeah, no. I think we're still going to play these four off camera because Exeter in the Papa John's Trophy final will be a big one. And then obviously we'll play the final two games of the season as well, I think. But yeah, I'll see you guys in this episode where we will have the Papa John's Trophy final. Our first chance of silverware for the save. I'm not sure if Oxford have ever won this trophy. I don't think they have. Um... Papa John's Trophy, you have runner up twice. So they lost to Barnsley and Coventry. Let's see if we can do one better this time round. So yeah, they lost to Barnsley and Coventry in their previous two visits to Wembley. Let's see if we can do one better this time round. We can get make Oxford up here in that winner slot for 22-23 season. But that will be it for this episode. Please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.